I just popped on in. No preparation or anything. I'm just popping on in to pop on in now. Because I got stuff to do. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day here. How's the weather with you? I am ValJones.com. Thought you knew. Real job. Real stuff is what I do. Like people don't know. How many of you are finding yourself at the end of last year, per se, or as we get ready to go into spring, you're not with the same people you were before? How many of you have gone through a lesson, right? Remember, I just started drinking coffee right now, I'm, so I'm not, you know, so I'm not like, this is not a coffee hype. A coffee hype. I'm still on God dope. I'm still God rich. God rich. Yes, I am a little bitch. <laughs> That's what you call me. Men call call me a bitch, black men call me a bitch, white men call me a bitch, women call me a bitch, but uh, was I bitch to you when I was supporting you? Was I bitch to you when I helped you out? Was I bitch to you when I put you on my playlist? Was I bitch to you when I promoted you for free? Was I bitch to you when I served you something that you need? Was I bitch to you when I gave you these pearls for free? Then you know what, in 2023, I'm going to be a hella rich bitch. Lilith and Capricorn, yes, she is that witch. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you too. What, you gonna like block me off of, off of self -truth? I don't care. I don't make no money here. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Anyway. This is why screw all your tables. Screw all your tables. You know what? I'm so sick and tired of white people who don't have a clue about black people, but you're gonna discuss black people. And you're gonna write for black people. Like, I remember, I was, I remember on mic. Doing Pillsbury commercials, the real Pillsbury commercials. Now, some of you have gotten eloquently just because I speak like I got. Nah, bring this shit back, motherfucker. Nah, nah, that's what you want me to be, right? You want me to be, you know, the, the, the black woman that spits out this shit. But let me tell you something what else I can do. I can speak very eloquently and I can do any type of commercial to you. I can really go around and go. So, like, at least however long I need to be and don't even occur. See, I can go around children and make it family friendly. You cannot. Here's a clue to you. When something says family friendly, you don't use the F word, you don't use the B word, and you don't use the N word because it's family friendly because you've got kids there. Kids are very impressionable, but I know you don't care because you don't raise your kids yourself. Maybe grandma or mammy or pappy raised them. And this includes the white people too. Let's not forget that you didn't even raise your own kids. You catch a clue and a cue. So I don't have time to sit and talk to you. Not in 2023. Things are happening rapidly. And those of you who don't get it and didn't believe, well, you know what? It appears that you can feel it before you can hear it. So mom and dad says, screw them. We got it. You concentrate on creating and being in your happy place and in your happy space. My high vibing Pisces, you know where I'm at with this today. So don't worry about it. You're going to see a lot more whatever's been going on. I mean, from Jared Renner, you know, being, you know, with the, he can't, he won't be able to act anymore. I, I, more or less walk. I mean, I don't know. I don't. And there are going to be some black people that say, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. You know what? I don't care about you. Let me tell you why. Because for all that you talk and do, you don't do shit for me. I helped you for free. Did you even donate when I was in need? Did you buy a book? Did you buy a shirt? Did you buy a cup? You may sent me something like Marcus. You sent me all your stuff. I gave you the keys. No, no, you gave me work, devil. I got this entity. Yes, I am my mom and my dad's seed. And you know what? That entity, I'm looking at you, looking at me. Now what? It's not fun when the rabbit's got the gun, is it? Woo-wee! Y'all need to see that Animaniacs with the water tower. When she went up against Hades, it's that. I am Princess da 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 Whatever, that's what you want to see? You know what? Screw it. I'm going to be very, very, I'm going to be very sexy. See this year, I'm gonna still keep the gray. You know why? Because all the men I run into, they love it this way. It's weird because it's something I've never done. Because we've been programmed, like the gray's gotta go. You know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta dye our hair. We gotta dye hair. You know, I would dye my hair black and stuff like that. Well, you dye your hair red, or you dye your hair blonde. You bleach blonde. You kill your hair to dye your hair blonde. Following white people who follow you. They burn up in the sun trying to look like you. 
but you bleach your skin and make your hair like that. You see what you do? You are so idiotic. I can't do this in 2023. Not to black people, not to white people. Listen, do not. Anyway, that's a distraction today because I am on point and I'm so focused that everything that wants to stop my flow can pass away and do not pass go unless you're going straight to jail or to hell. I don't care. So anyway, what I'm trying to say is I'm not trying to say anything. I'm saying it quite well because I'm quite intelligent, quite intelligent. Remember, I told you I mind F uh, 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 intelligence agent, FBI, CIA, something like that. So much so as a kid that when I turned 18 to 19, he came back with an application. Like, have her see us. Like, no, he gave the application when I was young. And then I think they called up and they followed up on it. With, so they be watching. <laughs> they be watching. They be watching. They be watching. Eagle Eyes be watching all the time. Eagle Eyes be watching my. I have been under the. I have been under the eye. When you see y'all thought y'all were it. Y'all y'all were it. But then when you want that, we're not the same. No 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 no. Bring that back. Don't tap out on me now. Don't tap out on me. Now. I'm giving you love. I'm putting you on some game for free. The reason I can do this so fluently is because I know you'll never listen to me and when you get effed up by them in 2023 don't come to me well what are we gonna do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. don't look at me as kindred would say i'm not your savior look at kindred look at uh the smiths look at whoever for your paper for your savior don't look at me you're following celebrities and remember me you just pull from me like the real oracle who still got cords all in me and I've snatched those cords all out. Why I will not deal with white folks who can't figure it out. I don't care if you're Jews or you're Italians or whoever you be. You're some stupid motherfuckers if you want to go up against me. And let me explain to you why. With all of your whatever you think your ideology I'm at the beginning of it all. I don't give a damn what you have in your books or what you refuse to believe in your mind. I tell you before all the time, Italians, who does the Pope kiss the toe of every single morning? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know it hurts. I know it hurts because you're feeling it now. I know it hurts. He kisses the toe of the Madonna, right? And what, what, what is she? What is she? What is she? What is she? It's a black statue. Oh, well, it's dirty. No, it's not dirty. Oh, well, it's, oh, no, it's not old. It's black for a reason. The Madonna. He doesn't kiss the feet of Jesus. He kisses the feet of Madonna. And not the... Like a virgin. You know, that bitch was never a virgin. And let's be real. She might have been, but, you know, anybody who seems to get it's ironic that the people who get on virgin records don't end up being virgin. Did you go ever like, da, 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 da. Richard Earnhardt was that? No, that wasn't him. Yeah, it was him. Who was it him? Who was it? Now that song is locked in my head. I got to find it out, you know, because you know when I get stuck on something, I get really stuck on something. That is my that is my stuff, by the way. I don't know why you think all black people listen to the same shit or do the same things. That's your mistake. Because when you come to me with that hate or that ignorance, I will slap that ignorance and that taste right off your face. But I will do it quite intelligently because ain't nobody got time to go to jail. See, but you know what? Don't try to threaten me because I can kill you legally and win. Want to see me do it again? Okay. So, I'm just saying, right now, you should uh, really love me. I should be your best friend. Why? Because your boy, your boy, both of them, put your family in jeopardy. Find the lie. Now, I want you to go through. And <laughs> Cecilia's, listen up. Oh, no, bring that, sh bring it back. Bring it back, bring it back. I'm I'm in like black scarf. I'm like the daughter of Scarface right now. Let's 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 set it all off. Again, your boy kisses my mama's foot every morning. So that's what I expect you to do to me. Now you don't have to kiss my footsie, but I do expect you to be quite eloquent. And effective with your security. Why? Because I am that Rose. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. You have a code to protect your queen. I suggest you get on it. If you know what I mean. Don't play with me. My dad 
right there. My mother will not be playing with you. Black people. This is what you do. You want to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. You got the wisdom. You got the knowledge. You got the degrees. You got all this bullshit and I'm sick of it. All I see is the same thing. You're not getting ahead. You too keep the black woman down. You try to make me submit to your law. You talk about how deep you are. Come to your table to talk about what? Stuff I've been talking about forever? What the fuck? What are we talking about? When nobody's walking it out. Seems like the only person really walking it out is me. Looked, looked on my walk. Doing it by myself. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? You two are chasing the cat. Find the lie in that. Tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me where I am wrong. Because y'all keep singing the same damn song. Oh, y'all are flexing on social media. This tonight, Naira, this, no, da, 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 da. Project Notion. Y'all what? Miss me with all of that. Because all I hear is talk, 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 talk. And I really don't see the walk. Other than I see these little... Woo! Okay, mother. I'm trying. I'm trying, mother. I'm trying. I'm trying. Say it without cursing, girl. Say it. Come on. Come on. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. You know what? Thing. It's a sad. What would daddy do? Daddy would slay all of you. Daddy would slay all of you. Daddy would be like Orlando Jones. Daddy was Mr. Nancy. <laughs> My mother was a shoot. Now it's come full circle. What will you do when the Joneses come for you? The real ones. Ooh. Yes, it is something about Wilmington, isn't it? Like you didn't already know. <clears throat> Don't talk to me, Negroes. Don't talk to me. I'm so tired of you being so low and acting like you're so high when you're just high off of, off of a lie that you tell yourself. You act like you're contributing, but you can't, you, you've never at all really contributed to my wealth, yet I've helped you time and time again. You know the lesson for me? Invest in yourself because these men are not men. They just talking puppets. They do what they do. They talk. But you'll shoot somebody in the back real good. You'll stab somebody in the back real good. You'll let you'll shoot up your own neighborhood. You will uh sell your own daughters for crack. A woman's doing that. You allow her to die. Uh, why are you mad? Why are you mad? Why are you mad? Am I, am I hitting somebody today? Am I hitting you with the truth today? Think about how I feel. Think about when I'm the realest one on the hill. Think about when I'm helping white people. I'm helping black people. I'm, I'm really about my assignment. And I'm looking at what is the freaking deal? All these people are fucked up. I should say kill them all. But I'm not going to do that today. Remember? That's why. Maybe that's why Atlantis fall. So anyway, I'm looking at, I'm tired of white people who don't get it. Don't speak to me in 2023. I will most definitely slap you so eloquently. And Negroes, do not come to me with all your knowledge and what it is when you know you haven't ever supported me. And I have the receipts for that. In fact, I have the receipts of what you haven't done. Prove it. You can't because you don't. So what I'm saying is, yeah, I am the only one. And I'm not saying I'm the only one. But when it comes to what I do, I don't have me. You're not there for me. You'll do it on stand up. Bring it back. But in reality, you're not there. You're a ghost. It's like you're already dead. So in 2023... You're out of my head and you're never going to get in my bed. And that was the thing. You want to get in my bed. You want to ride me like a horse. Why? Like, what's that supposed to do? Everybody gets married and divorced, married and divorced, married and divorced. You know what? I'm sick and tired of all of you. I'm going to stay focused on my life and what I do. Screw you all. It's a beautiful day. I'm going to go exercise because your health is your wealth and you can take all the vaccines you want to. Take them all. I don't have time for you to sit on your table talking. I've been talking about this and I've been talking about that and I've been talking. You know what? I've been telling you from the beginning and giving you the facts. I've been giving you documents from doctors and scientists. YouTube has been blocking me and social media from the very beginning. While y'all were just still like, and some of you still have that. I take the shot and everybody's getting shot. Kids getting shot. Mama, oh, don't stop now. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. You want to take it? You want us to take it? Now you take it. Here's a shot at you. Why you shoot us up, but you can't take it, boo? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I'm trying to do it sweetly. Would you want me to come, like, uh, kill Bill you in, like, with a knife? Mary Magdalene, Mary Magdalene is on the rag. Mama is on menopause. Men on 
pause because your laws are. <sighs> you are stupid. Pride comes before the fall. Pride goes before the fall. And y'all have got way too much pride about nothing at all. There's no nothing happening in your table. There's no action. You're still not able. You're a cane. And when a real one comes on the scene because it's a man, you got to make her submit again? Well, I wish a bitch would. Color, not specific. Gender either. So, you know what? Stay away from me. You always do. Let's be, let's be real. I'm being real with you. Be real with me. Don't act like you're supporting me when you know you don't. Don't act like you're there for me when you know you aren't. Don't even front like that. Don't even come up in my face. You know what? Just consider that I've already passed away in your world. I'm not even there. I don't even care. But to my people who get it, to the Jews who I know, the one, the real ones who won't come for me, like I said, there's a reason why I'm not afraid of the ADL. I dare you to come for me so I can sue the F out of you too. I'll read your rights very well. You forget I know your books. Your laws are in me. I didn't need the book. It was just pure. Naturally me. I mean, whatever this is, it really came through on Wednesday night. Woo! My goodness. When you want to... Oh, what was that? If I've never... There's no illusion. Now, you can say it's an illusion. Or you can say it's, you know, the, 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 the... Whatever, the chemtrails. But no. That was so on point. You remember. Unlike Kanye. Or maybe like Kanye. I am a certified genius. The only reason why I did not... That Mensa... Mensa had in the beginning, early on... So I was going to be skipped a grade or two. I think maybe, I don't know, it was a third or fourth grade or something like that. If my teachers were around, if some of my teachers are, are still around, they'll tell you who was the brightest in class. Consistently. If my schoolmates are very real about it, ask them, who was the brightest in class? Consistently. I wasn't popular. I wasn't a popular chick. Sure, I was a cheerleader on some track team and this and that and this and that and this and that and this. But the reason... People like me, well, because I was a likable person, but people were always copying off my tests. <laughs> Half the football players that hung around me know they owe me. <laughs> Come on, man. And where is Ricky Greenhill? I still I see I hear I heard somewhere another that Ricky's still around. I would love to I would love to at least say hi to Ricky and see what's going down because that's uh that's the one that well <laughs> that's the one at the bonfire that was gonna ask my mom to uh could we date? But he showed up drunk. Oh, God. I mean, you know how white boys do. Y'all cannot show up to black women. Real mothers. Real parents. My daddy would have killed you. My daddy would have killed you. So, you know. But but it, that, was, that was really, that was, it was weird in a way. That, I'm just showing you that because I really didn't judge like that. I really do, don't, on certain things, I go by energy. And, and, and actually, he treated me right. His whole family treated me right. Dad was great. I didn't have a problem. So whatever problem some of you have, I'm not going to get myself in the same boat that that same problem is for me. But don't act like I'm not fighting for you and what I do. How dare you say that to me? Because when I talk about these Martin Luther King speeches, the real ones, I'm not going with that junk that you do. That's BS. You and your crew, my God, it's always about money for you, but it's never about what you do. You put that whack-ass, salty-ass, dumb-ass statue that doesn't even look like him in the middle of the projects on Blue Street. What the F is that? Murkison Road, that's not just white people doing that. Black people do it to you. Do I need to name your people that you elect? That genderfication? White people are going to move all in and take all that shit away from you and you're going to blame it all on them? No, you. It was you. It was you on a snowy Sunday. It was you who you should call my dad, but you were doing something underhanded. It was you. It was black people who is always black people who turn around. We sell ourselves into slavery. Don't throw off 
takes this action like it's just white people, white people, white people. I don't give them a pass by no means. Are you kidding me? Do you know me? Clearly you do not. When have you ever known me to give a slave master a pass and not be up in his face? And I'm a little five foot three woman. You stick to put whatever butt fucking mother. I, I'm trying mother, but today is that day. It's like they gonna get off of me. I'm getting the demons off of me today. I'm feeling like Mr. Nancy. Woo! Wow! Whoa! What happened to me? The king came in and now it's like, ooh, times two. It's like, oh my gosh, she's revving up. See what happens when you get that energy that matches you? I'm just saying, today is the day for the truth. So if you white and you want to play me wrong, you can get smacked down too. If you're black and you want to play me wrong, you can get smacked down too. If you're Native American, India, 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 or Native American, whatever in between, Asian, Chinese, Korean, whatever, I don't care. Australian, do you know what I mean? All around the world, the same song. If you are wrong, I will smack that lie right out of your face with the truth. And here is the truth. I think it's time for me to make some new friends. And I don't care what color they are. I don't give a damn if they're black or white. I just want to know, do you see what's going on? Do you see the light? The light. We do not have time for these dumbass conventions and conferences. We do not have time for these damn concerts that's going on in 2023. I'm sorry to say, y'all ain't going to be really making that kind of money. Here I don't go doing that Oracle thing again, but nobody's going to listen to me. <laughs> so when it comes at the end and you see all the jobs have gone away and people are fighting like crazy and fighting each other, mothers turning on mothers, fathers turning on fathers, it's going to be a mess. Zombie apocalypse at its best. And yet you had a warning by someone who actually passed the test. Remember? Let's go back to Grammy night. Let's go back to 2020. The night, that, the day that Kobe died. The night that I was, I will give someone, thank you, I guess, maybe, I don't know. Do I thank you for that? Actually, I do. But you were in a push. You need to go to the hospital. You need to go to the hospital. And when I did, they just got in this serum. They didn't know what it was. They didn't know. I mean, that's that was what they said. And it's funny how, when do you ever go to Womack? I mean, everybody who's ever been at Womack, for every military person, ex and now, who's ever been to Womack to the emergency room, when have you ever known anybody to get seen in 15 minutes? Ever. Ever. I got there like around 8.30, and I was in ICU by 9.30. I had already been like, they had already taken my stats. They took my stats. I mean, I was seen in 15 minutes. They went, hold up, wait. And they took another thing and they took it again. So, and next thing I know, I'm being rushed to ICU within an hour at Womack, the emergency room. Those who know, know nobody's emergency room does that anywhere. Nobody. I was all prepared, which is why I wasn't even going to go to the hospital because I know I was like, OK, well, here I go. Let me go. It's like, you know, Kobe son died. This shit, some shit, some weird shit going on at the at, at the Grammys. And I'm like, you know what? This stuff comes in threes. And I do. And I quite understand the honor sacrifice because they, they want me to be because, you know, you, you think you think that they don't want to sacrifice me. They did last year in 2022. That's why we'll see how much money they make in 2023. Somebody better tie me and bitch better have my money. <laughs> Please don't call me on my bluff. Ooh, pay me what you owe me. Mm -mm 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 -mm. But right now I'm balling with my soldiers, my real Avengers. And I'm <sighs> Jeremy Renner of the Avengers. Just right after the year, right after shooting the movie. And I mean, the Avengers were getting ready to go off into another thing or whatever. But now this man can't act anymore, more or less. Well, I get it's amazing that he's still living. It was that bad. 
we're not talking about all the all the from all the black people that have passed away last year. I mean, I mean, I don't, I can't, I can't even, I can't, I can't go back on that because I lost some, uh, I lost some very good heroes, very good people who reminded me of my mom and my dad, and legends, real legends, real icons, real pioneers. The ones that, like, I wouldn't give a damn if y'all are here, but I'm I'm missing them. It's like, like some of y'all, I could really give a flying flip if all y'all died and passed away. Like I said, I'm not even in your world today, so why am I saying this? Because at least one person is going to hear what I have to say, and they're going to clue in and get it. So that, that's who I'm talking to. This is a Doctor Who moment. I'm talking to you. Whoever this is for, I'm talking to you. Again. For all of these stuttering black men and white men too. At the end of the day, I was the one that was not only showing and telling, not only saying, there's something in this water. There's something in this tea. I'm not some crackhead's daughter. I'm not some heroin addict's daughter. I'm not somebody that grew up in a project's daughter. I'm not some, I'm the act I really, really do come from an activist family. So I come from an original healer, not someone who sells her pussy online. She's so deep. How deep is she when all the men she's robbed blind from their soul? How deep is that hoe? How deep can she go? That show's kind of deep. Miss me with that. Cut off. It's sad when I, it's sad when I feel like, you know what, this is that time. That uh, if I so choose to continue my show, all these people that were that were on my playlist gotta go. I may only play like radio does right now about the same ten songs. Really, maybe about the same ten artists. Really, maybe like the, the same four artists. You know, in fact, I think you know I would love to have a constant, at least once a month have Orlando Jones come on my show and just talk about whatever he wants. Whatever you want, baby. Whatever you got to say, you have an open forum any day. We talked about this back then. We talked about this not only with American Gods, it was something else. It was something else you were doing too. It was something else. What was it? It was something else. Well, you know what? We'll talk about it when we get together. But it was something else you were doing too. They're always snatching ideas for you. And do you know how are you going to fire somebody from their own show? He wrote and did everything. I wonder if they set him up with his white wife, which he's not, you know, married to anymore. Ah, oh, they got divorced. Because I don't do divorced people. I mean, I don't do people who are still married. Clearly, I do not. That is not the way I rock. I don't give a damn what y'all think. I don't do married men, and I don't do thoughts. When I have I ever licked a bitch? I mean, I will look like that, but that's not my shit. You know what I'm saying? Get out of here. But that's what y'all want. Y'all like that. Good. Then go with that. May you have all of that. May you have all of that slapped and slime and all that sucking up the behind and everything that goes with it. I will not care and I will not be there. But for me and mine, the 144,000, whatever it is, I'll just call it the remnant because it is what it is. Talking to you. The real Jews who get me. Because I know you see me. I know you do. The real Italians who get me. The ones who know the code. I know you see me. Protect the rose. The real uh, everybody who gets me. I was the one that's been fighting for us all, and especially my military family. Y'all can be cracker-ass crackers or, or, or whatever you're going to be, but you got to admit, I'm coming to you with honesty. So you should, no matter how racist you are, don't be a fool. Because I'm actually fighting for you, too. Like you fight for this country when you know it's screwed. See, I'm on a contract of love. Venus is about love. Kay Pacha told you that. You want to check out some astrology? Go to the Pele Report, okay? That's Soul Tribe. Ooh, how can it be? White boy is a, it's a Soul Tribe more so than Sonny, Billy Carson, or whatever. Because you know what? It's the same energy with you black men. You never change. You never ascend because of you. But you want to blame the woman. But look at what you do. When your queen was in trouble, where were you? 
You should have been circling. You should have been circling me like we must protect our queen. Had I been white, you would. You know what I mean? That's sad. You do that Kanye thing. I heard Kanye just got married again. I bet it's to somebody white or light. That's your genius. And I'm not saying, you know, find love where it is. But when that's your cue, that you always have to find somebody else because that's what you're supposed to do. Who told you that? The Carl Lentz crew, the Hillsong crew. That's how we come together. That's how we come together. No, that's how you build separation and have black men don't look at the real black women as a friend, more or less somebody to protect. You protect a whore, but you won't protect your mother. That. You die by that then. I won't care. Won't be there. Mad at me? Show the receipts. Where have you protected me? When have you protected me, black man? I'm looking for it. I'm like, show me. If I'm missing it, if I'm missing that, no cap, then put down. When did you protect me? When did you stand up for me? When did you contribute to me? How did you contribute to me? What did you do that, was all, that, that wasn't just giving me work? Whether you gave me all this stuff to do, whether you gave me your books, you wanted me free, free promotion for you. But did you ever contribute to me? See, I don't give a damn what you say today, okay? Because it's not about you anymore. And it never was. It was about me. The real one coming up in the community, being the real activist. I didn't take the tea. I didn't take the tricks. I didn't sell out. And yes, I don't have a problem with white people. My white people have done better to me than some of my black people ever have. And that's sad. That's one thing I had to go around the wheel several times to like, God damn it. Because my dad, y'all killed him. You all put him on the cross, and he fought hard for you. Merson Road, you were on a rise. You were the best in everything in Fayetteville. Not just best black, best black, white, all in between. Best teachers, best lawyers, best educators, best schools. Nobody wanted to go to Terry Sanford, and for God's sake, nobody wanted to go to Massey Hill. That's where all the gangs were. Talking about the gangs of New York. Talking about the crazy ass crack gangs. Caught the Massey Hill. Nobody wanted to go there. And nobody wanted to go to Terry Sanford. It was nothing but fights. That's why I stayed out there with Cape Fear, all right? Because at least, you know, country people, you know, whatever. We kind of, we kind of get it in the same box. Like Swamp People. That's why I watch Swamp People more than some of that BS you watch. Like, I don't have time to be watching Boys of the Hood and listen to see some of these Stupid ass. I don't give a damn if all these rappers go to jail. I'm going to say it. I don't care. Mm -hmm. And you want to know why? You want to know why? Because you're putting yourself in a trap. You're putting your own family in a trap. And you act like you don't even give a damn. No cap. I hope they clap back at all of you. And they will. You set yourself up. You got gang members. You had so much power and money to do better. But this is what happens when you give people who don't have the mentality to get out of the projects mm -hmm. and out of the shit that they're in. You can give them money, but there's the same stupid nigga, my friend. You are a nigga. You mad? You want to shoot me? You want to you want to steal on me? You want to rape me? You want to take care of me? You want to invite me out to a, 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 a Airbnb and kill me? You want to invite me out to Calab Calabasas and have me go into your furry little room? You know what? If I am Akasha and I'm walking and I slay everybody just like that, I could be. You don't know. But all I know is after after Wednesday night, ooh, what happens when you get Mr. Nancy and Oshun together in the same building in the same bed? What magic could we possibly make? What is ahead? Now I got it in your head. And you can't get it out. Bingo. Seating. So screw you, 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 you. You no longer exist to me. But to the real.
real black people, the real white people, the real Italians, the real mafia. You're on a code. Protect the rose. You know what you know. If you know what you know. Who does your boy kiss every morning? The Black Madonna. Take the blinders off your eyes. She's black for a reason. It's not a lie. It's all out there. Why I ask why when it's right there and I prove it, okay? Screw it. Y'all program, so I'll let you work it out. Let's just go at this moment. This is why you should be helping me. Because I'm the most vocal person who hasn't signed any contract or has any allegiance to anybody. And especially my military family. Because I do feel like this is somewhat of a twin flame contract with you. Because I don't want to see you drop like Damar Hamlet. I, you know, if... Mm. <sighs> Maybe that's why Jesus cried. Maybe that's why Jesus wept. Because he knew the people would kill themselves in spite of themselves. And you will always nail the person who brought you the greatest gift to the cross. There's a Twilight Zone episode there's a Twilight Zone episode called I think it's called The Gift. It's black and white. It's one of the old ones that uh where this uh and I think it was uh, like some Hispanics or something like that, Mexican town. And this uh, uh young guy comes to town and, and the young boy saw it. The young boy saw it. But they looked at his miracles as something weird. Well the Twilight Zone does that a lot. How you know people's misperception can um, uh, mm. but y'all don't watch what I do unless you lie about it because that's a trend. Like you had the hills on people say hey, do, say you do that too, say you do that too. But it's really kind of it's really kind of clear by your walk that you don't do it. That is not in you the truth. All of you, as far as I'm concerned, could pass away. Oh, my cutoff game is cold today. I could like I could literally not talk to anybody I've ever known. And I'm okay. New friends. New times. Let's go. To my real people who get it, protect your queen. To my real black people, committed people, whatever you want to call yourself. You know what I mean? It doesn't really matter if you're still doing the same thing. You're talking, but you ain't walking. You're stuck. You're like Will Smith. You haven't emancipated yourself. You're still in a movie in your head. Meanwhile, everybody's dying. Look around you at least one person you know close to you in the last year or two maybe one or two or three or four have died is that a coincidence no and cape fear valley please i'm gonna call you out you gonna sue me today i wish you would how many suits do you have you need to research on that hospital how are these things continuing to happen and they get away with it because you have people in the middle, who's just like Trump, taking money for the tea. I'm telling you, you MAGA people, you don't have to, but you, you don't have to. But if you were really, like, not dumb, <laughs> dumb, 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 you might want to listen to me. Your boy is about the art, and I call him what it is. Your boy, everything about him is a lie. But remember, even low vibing Gemino's like a broken clock, at least twice. An hour, they can be right. For all the wrong BS stuff he set you up. Look, he got y'all coming to the Capitol and y'all get ate up. And, the, and especially the black people. You remind me of Reverend Orange. They're, out there fighting, 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 fighting that time in Atlanta. And the Reverend Orange was the first one they hauled off to jail. I thought that was hilarious. I thought that was hilarious. That's what you do. They put you up front and then they set you up too. I think that's hilarious. Herschel Walker, you are stupid. But okay. Y'all go ahead and do what you do, okay? My white people get it. My country people get it. Because we look at all these people like clowns. We look at clown town, clown town, clown town, clown town. The circus came to town and didn't go away. Chuck your it. It's the same thing, okay? It is the same story. These people are all on the take. Where it is right now, it's been about business. Trump is about business. He does not care about you. He will rape his own daughter. He marries and loves prostitutes. I wouldn't be surprised if this man doesn't have some form of syphilis, dude. I told you. I'm not I'm not trying to throw shade on anybody, but have y'all 
have you all like Google what the, I mean, Google what that energy is like that because it makes you insane. It makes you really crazy insane. And let's be real. He let out a whole bunch of, there's a lot of people he could have let out. But he let out a lot of ins criminally insane people out. What was the name of that game? Well, when you know you're going to sign off on something that's going to kill a lot of people, then you got to make it look like it's all natural. So you release the killers out, and then they start killing, 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 because these people are going to die anyway. Population control. And here's what you didn't get, white people. This is when you know, this is, this is, when, this is when the movie switched. Because white people always think they're on top of it. You're not. You've never been on top of it. You will never, ever be better or smarter than me. I know that must hurt you so <laughs> horrifically. I, I, I know I'm better than her. I know I, you call me kissy to my face and I'll slap the taste right out of you. Whew. You will respect me. I'm not the nigga. Don't you ever treat me as such. You get to know me and you talk to me honestly and directly to my face and let's discuss what's going on in this place and maybe we can come to an agreement to save ourselves you'd be surprised your enemy could be your greatest help so don't fuck me over white people i'm not doing it for you or anybody else i'm doing it for the babies that you don't even you don't even care because you got the money too you racist prejudiced stupid fools no wonder you don't want to have critical race theory because you know what if you do you'll find out the stuff that you do and you can't deal with it and you the demon and the devil in you black people shut up for all the things Things that happened in slavery, how did we first get there? And you know what you've done in the last year? You did the same thing. Y'all were buck dancing behind donuts and chicken wings and Megan and Cardi B. You lift them up hoes and little on me up here fighting the good fight out there on that track running laps at 66 in a six year do the math 66 6 6 6 6 it depends on the spectrum you're on if you're on the upside of the Taurus or the downside of the Taurus and that's why a lot of people are dying among some of the reasons it's biblical it's alignment it's spiritual it's all of that but uh, you know what? When Biden Gates, Guiding Bates, click, Men in Black, click. when Guiding Bates, I don't know whether to applaud the. I mean, this is some. This is this is some Hitler shit. <laughs> you, this is because I told you Hitler was a Jew. Hitler was a Jew. And so he slaughtered the Jews because his mother was a Jew. Find the lie. Find the lie. Dig deep. Dig deep. I thought you knew. Black men, you know everything. But you don't have the proof. You don't have a lot of things. You just think the world's supposed to revolve around your dick. It doesn't. You can buy a dick for like about 24 bucks. And in fact, I don't need I don't need to buy anything because whatever is going on with me, all I got to do is think of an orgasm and it can happen. So I'm never dry. How could I be if I was Venus? I require more than some toxic ass, stupid ass penis. And I swear to God, on my mother, on my father. Father, the next person that violates me is R.I.P. Not just for you, but your whole family. You might get me, but trust me. Do you want to risk your firstborn? Uh, screw the firstborn. Take them all out. My mommy and daddy said what I want. If they touch a hair on my head, take them all out. We're not playing in 2023. So you can either stay away from me and stay out of my pocket or you can start paying a tithe to the real G-O-D instead of these profit-ass profits. 
The minute that you really turned on me was when I told you 2,000 years ago, Pharisees and Sadducees don't look good then and don't look good now. And you turned on me, you stupid, sorry cows. And you so po so supposedly teaching your seminary schools. I said the word of God. God, and what did you do? Including my own family. Good Christians you are. But yeah, you don't know what the word God means. Why, O-D? Why, why don't you? So how do you even know Jesus? Or see the God in me. You don't. That jealousy. That demonry. That curse. My angel said they'll take all that land back. Oh, they're going to take my land back. They're going to get all the shit back. Do I want it? No, I want something. I want somewhere else. Because that, mm -mm. I can't go back to that. That's like lot. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm getting my abundance and my lot. So why would I go back to that salt? Why well, go back where the salt is too deep? Thank God my grandmother put that energy in me. She built everything from scratch on her own. So I can do it. I'm not a squatter. I'll catch my own. I may get behind, but somehow or another I catch up. I would have caught up much more had I not been investing in some sh something that wasn't was. I thought my money was going to help kids and water, clean water, when evidently it, it went it, when evidently it went to uh, pay for your stage show. Just letting you know, all those concerts this year. Well, you'll see. But anyway, that's all I had to say today. I'm going to uh, continue to do what I need to do to keep myself healthy. But you all keep dump, jumping up and doing the dance. Like, you know, because it's, it's election. When's election year? 2024? Screw that. Trump in 2024. Miss me with that bullshit. That, that fool really took this stuff way over the top. The fact that you would want that again shows how ignorant you are. Ugh, I cannot deal with you. You are trash. And trash do what trash do. I get it. But Negroes, I cannot deal with you. You are slummy, bummy, and still sniveling little people who will sell your own brother or sister for a buck. You are the Judases and the Cains in my life, and I've just had enough. To my military family, you guard your national treasure because, yes, I'm saying what you can't say. You're on a contract in a governmental NDA, but I am not. And you know, you know you didn't feel well when you got those shots. You know you had some people that dropped. You know there are a lot of bodies out on that base that, you know, they won't tell you about. I mean, I mean, I mean. Think about the insanity. Think about the insanity. Think about the ultimate insanity of someone who would literally kill off their own military. I'm going to tell you once again, my friend, y'all can say defund the police, defund the military, defund this. You don't see it through. Those are ploys using you, you gay transgender people. It ain't even about the LGBTQ. It's about that transgender thing. But what is it really? Transhumanism. Body parts. Oh, it's a conspiracy. Okay, you know what? I'm fuck it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not having these conversations. If you don't see it, we are not on the same plane. You're not elevated. You're not evolved. We're not talking about the same thing. To well, to those who get it, do you get it? Because how can you not see it? Let them talk. Let them do all the conspiracy talks and I let them let them talk. I want y'all to open your eyes and see. While a 66 year old me, everybody who's taking the shots, shot, 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 shot. You got young people who can't even do anything anymore. You've got people in their 20s who are dropping like flies. You got people who are healthy and now they're coming up with all types of diseases and ailments and stuff like that. But you are healthy and I'm 66. So how am I the wonder chick? And I got the infusion. And to think that like my little stupid ass, little twitty ass, well, whatever. Cause I'm calling, I'm calling, I'm calling everybody out. I have no family and friends.
I don't care. I'm not by myself. Trust me, I'm not. <laughs> but you have to get the weeds out your garden before you can really, you know, you know what I mean. It's not the same thing. I'm just saying. White, black, blue, green are all in between. When you absolutely know you're giving people death for a fee. That is ultimate insanity. Again, I want to put this vision in your head. And some say, that has nothing to do with it, Val. So you said. But what if it does? Look at all the people who passed away last year. Suddenly. Look at all the people who've had cardiac arrest. Suddenly. Look at all the people who've had accidents or disappeared. Suddenly. Who do the who 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 are these uh Jeeps or or who are these trucks coming for? They've come for me, but yet somehow they get blocked. How is that? Because while you're watching me, I told you, I'm not scared of Big Brother. And I might be eagle eye. And 60 Minutes told you well before. But y'all said 60 Minute lies. And I'm not saying sometimes they don't. But they were telling the truth. When they said, we're hacked. All of us are hacked. It's all hacked. Right in front of you. And there's nothing we can do. Your main security people in this country said that. But oh, 60 Minutes is a conspiracy. Miss me with that bullshit. You bore me. But your men, you got such great things to talk about. We need to have a conference to talk about what? We've had all kinds of conferences. I don't give a fuck about your conferences anymore. I'm tired of your talk. You bore me. You want money. Go and work for it. Legitimately. Or not. But what you won't do is make me into a whore. And think I won't slap you silly. And play with you like a bad pet. That's why I have no pets or no nothing in my house. My ghosts keep them all out. All the pets come to me though. It's funny. All the animals in the neighborhood want to get under my house. It's like I'm a safe space for natural things. And for unnatural things. How many people have you sent my way? How the hell? How the hell are you going to send me something? I'm in the Air Force too, but you've been in jail for 20 years. I'm not saying that doesn't happen, but I don't quite know anybody. And I'm not saying that doesn't happen. I'm just saying I haven't been around anybody like that. There's somebody who's actually been in the Air Force and yet you went to jail for 20 years. You had like that. That's a little bit of time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's like, you know, that's somebody that really wasn't thinking. And I can tell by your actions you're still there. So don't tell so don't come to me say, Yeah, I'm with the Air Force too. And I'm you come knocking on my door saying, Hey, I'm looking for a wife. And my and, and my kids told me to come here. I what the hell? Well, I am not looking for a husband. If I was, it would not be you. That's a talk that's your toxic ass family and what all of you do. You know who I'm talking to. So you send me demon after demon after demon after demon. I say so I told you I'm coming for your head. Bitch, don't mess with my colleague. She kills everybody. The dogs are barking. Sirius is in the house. Did I hear about a green comet or a green planet that just popped out? Oh, well, that's probably a conspiracy too. Maybe it is. But let's get back to the tea. You see people dropping suddenly. So fuck your conspiracies. This you see in your face. This you see. Screw your talk. Screw your talk. Screw whatever you say. How do you not believe your own eyes? This is some this is some Dallas shit. This is really some Dallas shit. Who you gonna believe? Me or your lying eyes? Well, I think I believe my eyes. Because I'm a smart kid. I'm not under the illusion or the hocus pocus. 
and the BS of what it is. <laughs> Ralph Smart. You know, I have people who I'm right beside that they look at Ralph Smart and they don't look at me. Like, you don't understand that I'm like, okay, I get it. You can't see. You can't see me. You see what you want to see. You can't see that I might be smarter than you. Or you can't see that I'm on my destiny. Or you just can't see that I might be smarter than you. Because you're stuck in a mode. Okay. We'll see how well that goes. But uh, I do believe, well, I don't know, Hillsong stuff. He and Till Swan can't really say for sure, but they got pushed up, came out of nowhere. People get come out of nowhere, like Virgil. Like I said, I never heard of Virgil, but I'm not really in the fashion like that. I'm like, you know, teens and G-shirt. I'm a military brat, teens and G-shirt type of thing. I mean, you know, we can, we can have labels all day. We can wear that shit. We just don't care. And again, most women, most girls in the military or most girls who are, or who are, uh, who we had, uh, who are girl, who, wait a minute. Most daddy's girls in the military, uh, I'm not saying that there aren't some that's prissy. We have our prissy days that we want to be fairy princesses and everything, okay? But for the most part, we're tomboys. We'll beat your ass. Because <laughs> we're like our dads. So, all I'm trying to say, I'm not trying to say anything. I'm saying it quite well. Is that you men, black men, you have failed me. And white men, I don't care. You come right by me or you all can go to hell. Color not specific. Gender either. And don't ever think because you're trying to push an agenda that I'm going to be a gender bender in my bed. Why would I be a bear? Why would I be a beard for a bat when I'm an L instead? Give me a straight black man like my father, like my husband, like my grandfather. My husband had issues. Yes, he did. The generational curses he put me through, but it helped me to learn and see the generational curses in you and help me to come with the experience that I know you cannot help anybody with their generational curse. They have to break it off. When they're born into a family of shrews, gender not specific, they have to pull themselves out of the shit and the shit that they do. Oh, the dogs are barking. Mommy is talking. They respect. Animals respect me. But you suppose they have higher intelligence. How can it be? And we're finding animals that are different. And I've been telling you this since, well, whatever. Do the timeline. You've been watching. I told you these little white fluffy things was not just dandelions. They're just really living things. I told you the animals are, are striking back. Somebody said, did I hear like, did, did, I, did I read a story that the copperheads are coming out sooner in, uh, in, in North Carolina? Like, What's up with that? And something was big. Somebody asked me, what did you ask me, Doc? Is that, should you be worried about something happening in nature? Nature's striking back. Oh, nature is always going to be on her attack. Men want to act whack. You remember, we've been, we've had extinction going on on this planet for a couple of times. Looks like it's coming again. Y'all hated that movie After Earth. It sucked. If you saw it with different eyes. I didn't get, I was, I was, watching the aesthetic of it because the aesthetic of the movie actually was on point bad acting aside or whatever it is i mean i don't know you know it wasn't that bad of an acting <laughs> i think the movie though was really like after earth you've had all these disaster movies that you've I've had people who thought they were smart. People have set me up. Oh my God, some people in Atlanta, some people in radio, some of the same people here that went to Atlanta. My gosh, I can think of that shit. I don't even want to think about that. That's why I don't mess with none of these people no more. You don't see me at any, none of these reunions because they don't mean nothing to me. You will not see me hanging out with Cheryl Underwood, okay? 
all Saras ain't Saras, and it be what it be. Before I hang out with that, I will be hanging out with Adele Gibbons. Anywhere Adele Gibbons and I can get there, I'm there. That's my Sarah. She showed me someone who really cared. The other one, though, you know, same thing, though. So I get it. Look at who her manager who or who or who helps, what is it, helps her show. So she knows her snake against snake, you know, both snakes against me. But we're supposed to all act like we're a happy family. That's what you do in church too, right? Churches, we're not supposed to say what the preachers be doing behind the pulpits and in the closet, in your secret closet. What was all of that in the secret closet? And remember the time that someone said, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I taught Tyler Perry everything he knows. And I went, really? And I actually called people who work with Tyler Perry. And they went, uh oh. So you can blame me if you want to, as someone said, oh, Tyler Perry will never bring his show here. So when Tyler Perry brought his show here to Fayetteville, hello, that was me. Because somebody said he would never show up. So I put in a call. Did you teach this person? I mean, did you teach him everything you know? And it was like, what? Well, he says he taught you everything he knows. And he says you would never come here for this show. And remember when he was trying to like push, 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 push to push his play? See, that was competition, okay? That's what radio does. That's what everybody, when you really want to push your agenda and you don't think the real ones will show up. Because by this time, Fayetteville, which used to be the balling capital of the world, had just gotten just weak as fuck in every way. And I was the enemy because I was being real on the radio. And I was the one who was getting those numbers easily. And all these little jealous hoes are mad at me. Because no matter how many dicks they sucked, I kept my numbers up legitimately. Don't you ever come in my face ever again. And you know who you are. But I protected you. I should have let your husband come right on in that, right in that building and beat the shit out of both of you. And now he's gone. I didn't know. It was a couple of weeks. Or maybe a month later that I went, what? Y'all pushed the tea. And the tea affected you. Yeah. It's like that karma is swift. Karma doesn't care how many times you call Jesus. Saturn doesn't care. That you say, Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, your church still burnt down. In the name of Jesus, your school still burnt down. In the name of Jesus, Happy Hardaway, you know, you know, Happy Hardaway, who could bring your nature back. Why didn't she read in her crystal ball? I might die tonight. And next thing you know, she's gone. I know I'm acting like Star of the Star Report today. Woo! What happens when you have the best stars in radio come to play as trolls? You want to play troll games? Hashtag troll games. I got it. Hashtag Star Wars. Star plus star. Wow. Star plus star. And you got Orlando Jones too. My gosh. What is happening? But it ain't happening to you. And now you want to come in and be a part of this? No. You little woo. Uh -uh. Not even on the show. I'm just saying, black men, don't you ever come to me about you have never contributed to me and you know who you are all you've done is given me work you want to make me work like i'm a mammy while you put up these hoes i get it you're so weak-minded that you got to find somebody that's beneath you you have to find somebody that you can control that's some little dick shit no matter how big it is and here you're weak now you mad at me so you want to you want to you want to abuse me and lift up. <laughs> That's why I don't care what they do to you. If they pull you all out the car and beat your ass, I'm mm, well. Mm. But I bet you what? And I'm talking to you, bad cops too. I'm reminding you, you better be good to me, because while you're watching me, there are watchers watching you. See, no matter how smart you think you are. No matter how sneaky you think you are, you can be in the middle of the motherfucking woods and try to pull me over. I wish you would. You don't see when I'm walking in the middle of nowhere, planes in the air. You don't see as I'm driving down the highway in the middle of nowhere, planes in the air. You don't see 
while I'm going down dusty dirt roads, helicopters and planes in the air, and that's everywhere. And we're not around any type of base. How can that be? How can that be? So I suggest when you see me, you better act accordingly. Because if you think I'm just some little nigga bitch that you're going to beat up, that's going to be you and your entire family. So go ahead. I can come back. You won't. I guarantee you that. And reminding you, a hair on my head, that's your whole family. Do you not care about your whole family? Who do you care about more, racism or your family? We're going to see what a heart and how smart you fuckers are. Oh, I'm Mr. Nancy today. What has happened? Wow, I love this. Check me. That's it. I'm going to uh, go and do what I do and stay healthy. I just felt the need to play by the Queensberry rules. It's funny. How was it? Christmas Day? No, New Year's. I literally hung out at Hogwarts <laughs> with the family. It was the most, it started with, it started Christmas. It really did. It started Christmas. I mean, it didn't start Christmas. It didn't start Christmas. It's been going on. But it's like, you know what? This whole energy of like, I wasn't going, I wasn't going to go anywhere and eat anybody's cooking. I've already decided like, no, 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 no. If I'm not going to my favorite restaurants, got to go. So I hung out. I hung out with my family. Y'all got a problem with Asians? I don't, unless it's the stupid ones, and I clap back on them too. But the smart ones know they were black Asians. What did you think Genghis Khan was? He wasn't yellow. <laughs> so, and again, what did you think the original Sicilians were? They weren't beige. Do your research. Y'all know so much, but you don't study history. So a cracker going to come up to me and tell me who I be? I don't think so. Going back to Cali? I don't think so. Going back to slavery? I don't think so. Going back to Trump? I don't think so. Going back to Guiden Bates? Oh, no, I really don't think so. If you all don't see the error in that, again, you sit on your couch. And you hide behind fake facts while I'm out here by myself, by myself, spitting this shit out. They're killing our babies, man. Just for a trend and a clout or fee or power or greed. I'm telling you, this is like people who, uh, and I'm not saying that's what it is, but it's just it just keeps coming back to me. I want y'all, honestly, I want you guys... It's not, I'm not going to say that's what it is because I don't know, but I really need you all to research the symptoms of syphilis, yo, because you can't cure that ever when it gets way out of control. Well, all this effing around, I think somebody knew. And all these, all these shots literally kill the antibodies in you. So when you kill off the antibodies, you're no longer natural anymore. So when you get a natural cold or natural allergy, your body is sterile. Sterile. Do you understand what sterilization does? Maybe you need to research that, sterilization. Now I know there will be some who's so tough will say, well, you know what? You need to be quiet. No, you need to be quiet. You know your role. Do what you do. I'm on my game. I'm, I'm good with myself. This is not about you anymore. You know, I don't need you on this path with me. I'm good. I'm in my destiny. I'm being queen. I'm the queen of my collective, not you. I appreciate you, but let me handle this. I got it. It's a different class. Welcome to the future. Some of you need to catch up if you're going to get there. Your health is your wealth. I don't care how much money you make. It's clearly been made aware that you're not rich enough and you're not famous enough that you won't drop dead. Elvis Presley's daughter dropped dead. 
She suddenly missed me with that. Jeremy Renner, Adam Rich, <sighs> Boston Celtics, Bill Russell, Michelle Nicholas. I'm fine, thank you. All these people, all these people, all these people. I'll get back to you. I'm busy. See, I'm focused. I know how to handle my shit. I know how to stay focused. I'm on my job, and nobody's going to distract me from that. I'm the queen of my collective, and I'm asking my soldiers to surround me and protect me and fight back. I'm not saying, like, fight, fight. fight. I'm not, you know, you're smart. You're intelligent. You're in the military, okay? You've been trained for these things. You have been through things that nobody has ever been through. They don't know you. They don't understand you like I do. I am here for you, literally. I am here. We are we are each other's therapists. So when it comes to maybe, you know, like I said, we just get together and have sessions and I just only want to deal with my people. In, you know, ex-military or military, we get together and we form our own collective and we talk about what we can do. And I don't want to even invite any of these people into our studio because I look at everybody as a, as a ops, you know what I'm saying? But you are amazing. It's something about Green Berets, not Red Berets. This always been like made me feel some kind of way. It makes me feel comfortable. But I think that's a Moorish thing. It all ties in. Funny. Doctor Who and the Fez. You know what I mean? It's biblical. It's historic. Whatever it is. I'm telling you. Take your hatred and your racism down. And for once, listen to the black kid who's proven she might have a clue. And why they're attacking me like they're attacking you. Because they want you to fight each other like gingham dogs and calico cats. You got to explain these deaths, okay? Especially when you fudge the facts. People dropping dead. Well, it's because of this. Well, it's because of that. No, I can tell you what it's because of. But you know what? Do what you want to do. I'm going to do me in that 66. I know it makes people jealous because they used to be the talk of the town. They used to be it. But now I'm 66 and looking beautiful and seem to be getting better. But need a apple bomb. Well, you got it going on. I do. And the hair is growing longer and longer. I'm letting my gray. And there's not no man that I can't have today if I wanted to. I'm just saying. It's the grays. It's the grays. It's the grays. No, it's me. And they love me naturally. They said, we don't, you don't need that bull. Bullshit. You don't need the plastic surgery. You don't need all of this. You just need to be you. All you ever needed to do, baby, was just be you and shine like the goddess you are. In time, when your time would come, you would know that you are the realest star. So right now, it is kind of like a Venus thing. The star is shining bright. The morning sun has become me. <laughs> and Mr. Nancy, <laughs> if you know. Know what I know? You got it because you stole from him like you stole from me. So we go, you're going to pay him back everything and you're going to pay me too. My, my black Sicilians, my Italian family, the ones who love the Pope, you know by now who I be. You think I'm lying? But what if I'm not? What would it mean to you? Just think of the horrendous karma if you didn't protect the real rose you do know you do know you do know there was a child there's a legacy there's a seed this is something I never wanted to be this is something I never wanted to do but I have no choice that's what chosen means not what they're showing you chosen means you have no choice it's biblical I would have never chosen this because I know what it is. But, okay, we're here now. And I am so on my post. So, so soldiers, I don't care if they hate you. Ex-military, I love you. I know who you are. I know what you do. 
I know the struggle inside of you. Me too. I don't want to see any of my family just drop behind something. And next thing you know, it's, it's pneumonia and flu and this and that. Some more shots, more shots, more shots, more shots. Next thing you know, you're sterilized. That even just a little cold will take you out. But on top of that, how is everybody having the cardiac arrest? Now, mind you, when I took the infusion, they hit me with everything all at once. They did not know. I was having the business and the, you know, whatever it is show. But I realized, too, you know, me and water, you know, go to water, go to water, go to water. But I was so kind of, I should have just stayed home, stayed my ass home and just ate up a lot of, uh, ate some onions and lemons and just, you know, rest and a lot of water and shit this stuff out. Make sure you got fiber. Make sure you got probiotics. Probiotics. Get you some probiotics. Make sure you got fiber. Get it out your system. The more you clean, clean your system. Clean your system. The more toxins you put in, the more it gangs up on you, my friend. So you got to clean these toxins out because you've got a lot of toxins in you for a reason it's population control but here's the thing white people he don't care about you he don't care about the military he says he was suicide squad on the military too i know you don't like black people i'm clearly aware but goddamn, when you take out the people who's supposed to be protecting you you are out of your mind i'm calling for the bear the bear must come out now where is my bear where is my bear? Remember, the Native American is coming out of me. And I need the bear, okay? Because something is very, very wrong with this tea. And if you don't see it by now, I love it and I hate it that DeMar Hamlin had to be a perfect example right there in your face. People have been dropping like that all over the place. Just like that. That quick. Anybody who's around here who knows the real Batman, the real Gotham City, the real Pearl Necklace, he dropped. I'm pretty sure he dropped like that. Come on, uh, Soul Decree. You lost one of your family. You lost a glue to your team. You all were getting ready to go overseas, and he was getting ready to retire and he took that and I think a flu shot or something he took two things at one time he was fine he worked in a hospital he was retiring shot 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 shots my boys are like I <laughs> know they're like they're 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 on their job and uh but because you couldn't go overseas unless you got the tea. So here this person who was an excellent talent, but also in the medical industry. He took to go overseas. He took the shot and something else and did not wake up the next day. And the funny thing is, is I was with one of the biggest demons ever. When he passed away. I told you I have a problem about with the McDonald's around here, right? Ancient spirits. I told you about the first person. The person who my my the first person who my daddy took a shotgun to to the church. His name was McDonald's. Was it Dennis or McDonald's? I don't know. But all I know is I know when I, I when I met my husband and everything, he, it was the, the irony that he tells me the first person, and you go and research that story, okay? The first person that you had someone who basically, it was a gunshot wound. When the Saudi war happened, it was a gunshot wound. Somebody shot themselves. It was the same guy. Pow, pow. Pow, pow. <sighs> See me now. See what I've been through. See what's happening in front of you. I see right now, you know, McDonald's, at least around here. Maybe McDonald's everywhere. And McDonald's, Mickey D's. Oh my gosh. You know, it used to be you could work at McDonald's. McDonald's has made so much money off of black people, but yet now behind Guiden Bates. Welcome to McDonald's, may I please help you? No, you won't have any jobs anymore because it'll be ran by uh machines. 
Y'all were having a problem counting anyway. You know what I mean? I mean, let the machine go down and you can't even count. It is really sad to see a grown ass person that cannot do change. I'm like, really? Did you all graduate? What are these schools teaching you? Apparently not a goddamn thing. So, okay. But the schools are wrong. And let me not, and let's not talk about some of your whole ass principles. For real. You have whole ass principles and you have whole ass principles. Oh, wait. Was one in the news yesterday? Just yesterday? People are really, uh, <laughs> the veil is coming off. But y'all, you know. And again, Miss Hideaway, Hardaway, whatever the name is. But these are the same people, Sister Ann. I can I can help bring you your nature for twenty nine ninety nine or for fifty bucks. They keep sucking you in, sucking you in like these terror readers. Yeah, you thought you would set up these terror readers. I should have known. Listen, Mama, when you brought me these, the muse. That was a clue. But it really wasn't a clue till I saw everybody's doing the same thing, too. You know, you can't rope me into the same. I am not like everyone. I don't follow you. I don't. That was some Hillsong stuff. So now I'm trying to figure out if you represent the good. Uh, are you a good witch? Or are you a bad witch? Glinda is asking. Are you a good witch or are you a bad witch? Because I keep a bucket of water with me. In fact, you know, I'm going to soon go to the sea. Because everybody is, everybody really with the sea is around me. Mr. Nancy. And. Dutch Masters. <laughs> Django. Is that. Is that. It is that. It is Django. Is that I forgot? I, I forgot what his even forgot what his name is now. But he's a hell of an actor. I'm like that was an amazing movie. I saw that movie like fifty thousand times. Way too much. But uh, is that? And I'm a little troublemaker. It is that. It is exactly like that. But nobody's going to get capped in my family. Because it's uh, time for different energy, and we're just going to be protecting each other's back. We don't care. Do what you do, because you're all a whack. But if these Hillsong people think that they're going to come up into my cat. Come here, Collins. You are the insatiable spirit. Or part of it is in you. Let's be real. You're just a man. You weak. Weak as <laughs> But that spirit, that spirit, I keep telling you. Lil Ho, don't call on my Kali like that. My don't play with you. My don't play with anybody. But you know what? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know what? That's all I need to do. I need to stop telling you all what to do and, and or what not to do. And go ahead. Call on her. Call on her. Call on all those spirits that I'll be telling you. Call on them. See what happens. See if you can control the devil. No one controls the devil. What are you talking about? Are you serious? So what are you doing? How are you? How am I doing what? I'm just being me. Shot, 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 shots. You be too full of shots. I see some people who are drunk as F, high as F. Oh, I see the misery. Y'all are, fell are falling by the wayside. I see the mental illness coming in all of you. It's time for us to circle white wagons without sounding like this is some, um, what was that mess? in Texas with the um Koresh, the compound or whatever that was. Or it's just like, you know, I had a I had a Jim Jones legacy. I had a cousin there. I had a cousin there. One of my favorite cousins, Timothy, who was ironically who was actually from Baltimore. I think that interesting. Timothy. I still remember your name after all these times. Came from my papa's side of the family. So came from the Saturn side of the family. And so, yeah, part of the Jim Jones thing with the African everything. Woke up just in time. I don't know how he got out, but he did. He was saved. Remember that you had an announce not an announcer, a reporter and uh and uh and a congressman or somebody went there and they always left. 
Like, that was some crazy shit. Still is. Okay. Food for thought. Think wisely, choose wisely. Soldiers, protect your queen. Protect your queen. Choose, protect your queen. We're doing Kabbalah things today. We're doing all things. Protect your queen. You know we don't worry about that. Because we know who we be. Protect your queen. We're much bigger than the Illuminati. We're something else. You stand by me. And I will always stand by you. Because you know my loyalty is real. And you can feel it. I'm out there on that field fighting for you. These people still talk about what they used to do. I don't care what you used to do. Right now, I'm in this reality. Reality. Well, they said, let it go, Val. Let it go. I understand you're happy. No, you let it go. Do what you need to do. <laughs> this is not your role. The queen has been called on the throne. So I, you know, it's not, again, there's a reason that the chosen is the chosen. We are chosen to be in this spot. So we are to believe that we're never alone. And I found out I wasn't. So I want my king to come home. And let's figure out. How we're going to get through this year. Because 2023 is going to be a doozy. Watch where you go. Be happy. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying be locked in and scared. But understand where you're going. Be careful where you go. Reminding you people are tweaked. It's 50-50 either way. 50-50 they drop. And 50-50 they become zombies. But y'all want to talk about, well, white people have done this to us. And I can tell you about the conspiracies. Or white people, here we go. Yeah, well, you know, da 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 And Trump is going to do this. And you know what? Miss me, MAGA folks. Miss me, black and black folks. All of y'all on the same sip trip. But the real people in between, the middle path, you know what I mean? You're seeing it. So if you're real... It's all an illusion. No, when people drop dead, that's not an illusion. That's fucking real. When I was in the hospital, that, that was real. When they shot me full of everything, and after I, I didn't finish, after I, I brought a little bit, I got to take accountability, needing to get to the water, but I was too weak to get to the beach. I went to Jones Lake, which, you know, Jones Lake, my daddy would always take me to Jones Lake. I went to Jones Lake in the middle of winter. I think I went to Jones Lake, like, around January, the first of January. So I stuck my toe into Jones Lake. It was, like, only a year and a half later that I realized these people be pissing and shitting in that lake. So I was already sick, and in the middle of winter, while I'm already not feeling well, I stuck my toe into a cesspool. So, of course, I got sick. But the fact of the matter, it was something had to be much more to it. Because I, I tell you again, when have you ever known anybody ever? Let me know. I don't know. Let me know. I could be wrong. So, show your receipts. When has anybody ever gone to Woolback and been seen in 15 minutes? Anybody? 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 Please, please let me know. I mean, and show the receipts on that because you know, anybody can say something, but you got to prove it to me. Because up until then, I've never seen Womack get somebody so quickly. Never. And next thing you know, I'm being watched with the most massive head. I'm still not surprised that my head didn't pop off. Maybe it did. I'm being watched by seven doctors. Not nurses, seven doctors, all of them like were specialists. These are not like nurses. There was like doctors and doctors and doctors. And one who came, you got to take your meds. One, uh, uh, what was his name? Light skin brother. But really, you got to, I understand what you're saying, sir. Because by that time, I was so, uh, my blood pressure, I told you, supposedly I had an ischemic stroke. Like what, um, uh, Sinbad has had. 
Suppose I came in supposedly, I mean, this was 220-ish, but it was more like somewhere or another, I think it was 220, 240-ish or something. It was, it, it was, it was 220 plus over 200 plus. All the body parts were failing. Kidneys were failing. I was stage five, you know, something like that. Everything, they, they said, like, literally, they gave me a 30-minute window to make a decision. We can give you this, and it could kill you, or we can give you this, and it can help you. We don't know what it will do. We just got it. But if we don't give it to you now, you're going to die. That's no lie. Put me on the table of integrity. Get a lie detector test and see if I'm me and who I be. I demand that. If you've got questions, then come on. Bring them to me. <laughs> and let's see. Let's see in real life. Something y'all can't do. Fuck those lies. I know I'm telling the truth. So put me on the table of integrity and bring out the lie detector test so you all can see what happened on that field. So anyway, I'm like, well, what am I going to do? I got 30 minutes to make a life or death decision. By this time, I had been so beat down by the Hollywood crew, by my own community, by the stuff that already been gone on in my life. I was under such a fight. I was tired. I was tired of life. I really was. So actually, when I told them, go ahead, do what you do. I signed on it, not even caring if I woke up or not. No, no facts. Y'all signing on it, and you think it's gonna bring you back? I really like didn't care. It's like the devil saying, "Well, I can bring back." Well, you know what? If I go out, I go. If I'm not meant to be here, then you know it'll, it'll be what it be. So, but I was meant to be here, so I could be here to let you know they lied to you, and I will not have my soldiers just be dropped by some insanity for control or fee. Are you shitting me? I actually do love my military. I don't think you do. But these are real soldiers. And I'm telling you, whatever they gave you, whatever they gave you, I'm a 66-year-old chick out there on that track, running at least four or five laps and going up and down these steps. Again, shout out to Damar for fighting back. It's gonna be a fight, the greatest fight of your life, but I am your proof. If I can live, then you can too. But research that shit. And if you really don't wanna take it, if you feel really bad about it, then don't. But it's when they make you, knowing what it is. There's something really wrong here. That's some Hitler shit. That's some Stalin shit. And when you combine that with some Hillsong shit, Y'all couldn't be me. All my greatest teachers who think they could, but they can't. Because they would never have this audacity to come in front of all of you like that and say, okay, do what you want to do. But uh, I'm choosing my team. Go green. Be the soldiers that you are. Be the special ops that you are. Be the Air Force. Be the Army that you are. You know you are the realest stars. You are the realest Avengers. You are the real legacy. Don't let them kill you. Because if they kill all of you, then what would this world be? I can't. I don't even want it. I can't. I can't see that. I don't want to see my soldiers dropping like players on a field. I can't see that. I don't want to see that. And I already saw that. But I already saw that 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 Trump shit before. Remember, I called it. I called it. So you can go ahead and not believe me if you want to. But right now, prove one time, one time, put down there one time that I have been wrong. Go ahead, I'll wait. Name one time I've been wrong. Other than on some relationship shit, I've been very, very wrong. But you know, <laughs> personal things or something else, but real things and worldly things, I'm on time, right on time. 
So I guess it's a little bit of balance. My personal life might, might, might be a little, you know, shady as far as picking people to be with. But I do not be lying when I know what the government is doing. Political scientists major than that. History major than that. Was going to be a lawyer. But I would have been Denny Crane, Denny Crane. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would have been in court because I'm the type of person that I go up to the judge. You know that's some bullshit. We ain't doing that. Send her to contempt. Okay, whatever. So I knew. So I decided to become a radio announcer. Because I felt like I could get my message out through music and through creativity and through art. Instead of hollering with a protest and da 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 da. I do what I do for you. How will you repay your queen? Maybe stand up for the person who actually stands up for you. But it's your choice. Do what you do. Feel good Friday. Have a good day. Now you're on this game. Protect yours. Protect yours. Protect yours. Protect yours. And know you are not crazy. That shit. So pay attention. You got it? Weekly. I love y'all. Seriously. See you next year. Because we're going to be here. I don't know about everybody else. But you know, we're going to be fine. I love you all really. Till next time.